Instagram is getting an overhaul and one of the most surprising details is that they're actually thinking about taking away likes from posts and putting less of an emphasis on follower counts to make the whole experience less pressurized. And of course they should be doing this. We've been too close to the fire for so many years to realize it, but the way Instagram currently operates is awful. I mean, ask yourself, do you really feel good when you scroll through your feed? No, you don't feel good, you feel terrible. I feel terrible whenever I do it. It's because everyone you follow started to see that it was a way to sell you something, whether it be a product, a service, or just the idea that they live some sort of exotic and adventurous life. They're framing the best possible thing they can put together, and they've been cramming it into a post. That's not real life. None of this matters. What are we doing? And this is the right move. I, you know, I got to admit, it's kind of refreshing to see some self-awareness here from Instagram. It shows that they know they've made a mess and they're taking ownership of that. They created the currency of popularity and understand that it essentially turned us into a bunch of attention hungry garbage monsters ready to eat each other's faces off just for a few more likes. I'm going to say that's bad. No one should have to feel regret about a thing they put out into the world because not enough people double tapped it to certify it worthy. I mean, it's not hard to visualize some poor 15 year old obsessing over that like counter, second guessing their self worth and contemplating the ways they can improve their post for next time. And that's what Instagram wants to shift the focus away from. Instead of encouraging its users to compete for trivial likes, they want more of a concentration on posting photos and videos of the things people feel genuine about. Imagine that. And don't forget, if this experiment works, Instagram's probably gonna lose some of its inherent value potential. I mean, you strip away likes and you're removing a tangible element to that service's economy. Look, I don't expect Instagram to operate at a loss, but at least the numbers aren't going to be glaring you in the face. All right, so who's gonna lose out if Instagram actually takes away likes? The first obvious group that comes to mind are influencers, and yeah, for some of those people who hustled to become professional tastemakers, it might suck. But also, I don't know, maybe it's a good idea not to encourage people to blindly sell their souls to advertisers just to hawk cell phone cases and foot cream. I mean, that economy was damaged from the start and people were already finding ways to game the system by buying likes and getting into bed with bots and other nasty kind of stuff. And let's be honest, would you really miss Insta influencers? I mean, I think we can all agree that one fire festival was enough to realize maybe this is a f***ed up system we got here. And it's not like that element of Instagram will just disappear overnight either. Instagram says you'll still be able to see your own like numbers and maybe that's something that's gonna preserve that influencer economy to some degree. And when it comes down to it, this tweak is for the good of everyone's mental health and to improve the way we interact online with each other. To me, that's something we should all be able to get behind because right now, Instagram is bad for you. And they know it. The head of Instagram told Buzzfeed, it's quote, about creating a less pressurized environment where people feel comfortable expressing themselves. He went on to say, we do hear people worry about how many like counts they get. That is screwed up. So Instagram is first testing this out in Canada because I don't know why Canada, but cool, good for you, Canada, whatever. And if the response is positive, then maybe it'll roll out to the rest of us. So it brings me great joy to have to say this. This all depends on you, Canada. So you know how I feel about this story, but what do you think? Should Instagram move the focus away from likes or keep things the way they are? Let me know.